Let's take a look at question number seven from practice one. The question says, what conclusion can be drawn from the data set? So if we look at our data set, we have a table that gives us a few different GPAs, and we need to decide which one of these particular conclusions is true in reference to our data set. So let's go through the conclusion to see what they're actually asking us to look for. So A says, the average GPA is 2.8. Well, we know the word average is equivalent to what? The mean. All right, it says the student's GPA range is 2.5. So, of course, we know how to calculate the range. C says the most common GPA is 2.0. We know most common is the same as what? The mode. All right, and then the middle GPA is 2.5. We know the value that falls in the middle is the what? Is the median. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to calculate those values and compare them against what was given. So we will know what was true and what's not true. So we'll just start with A. So it says the average GPA is 2.8. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add all of these values together. And then we're going to divide by the number of values in the data set so that we can calculate the mean all right and then remember in this instance we are trying to find the conclusion that makes the most sense based on this data set all right let's get to it so we have for the mean, we're going to do 2.75 plus 3.62 plus 3.98 plus 2.56. Forgive my right, I always write on the slant. Plus 1.8 plus 2. All right, and that's going to give me a total of 16.71. All right, and our second step, of course, is always to divide by the number of values that we have in the data set. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we divide this by six, that is going to give us 2.785. All right, so this is going to be our mean. All right. Now this says the average or the mean GPA is 2.8. We have 2.785. If we rounded that to the nearest 10, that will give us about 2.8. So we're gonna keep this one in mind because this is looking like it's the correct answer, but we still wanna eliminate everything else to make sure we're on the right, right path. All right, so it says the student's GPA range is 2.5. So let's go ahead and let's calculate the range. All right, so with the range, of course, remember we're subtracting the lowest value from the highest value. So normally I would put the values in order from least to greatest first and subtract, but in this instance to save time, I'm not going to. So I know the largest value is 3.98. And the smallest value is 1.8. All right, so if I subtract those, that leaves me with a range of 2.18. All right, this says the student's GPA range is 2.5, so that lets me know that's not correct. They're not even close enough for me to even think of rounding. All right, C says the most common GPA is 2, so that represents what? The mode. So if you look at our values, we have 2.75, 3.62, 3.98, 2.56, 1.8, 2 and 2.0. We don't have any values that repeat, so we know that this is not an option. All right, and then D says the middle GPA is 2.5, and we said that is equivalent to the median. So anytime I want to find the median of a data set, I need to do what first? So if we keep it super simple, we have to put them in order from least to greatest. All right, so we're going to go 1.8, 2.0, 3.98, 2.56, 1.8. Uh, 
3.62 and lastly 3.98 all right so how many values do we have we have one two three four five six values so remember when we have an even number of values in the data set it means we have to find the average of what's in the center and visually once we cross everything out you'll see why so we always start from the outside and we work our way inside so we're going to cross our values out in pairs all right so that leaves us with 2.56 and 2.75 so that means that we need to find the average of those two values which means we're going to add them together All right, so if I add 2.56 and 2.715, I mean, 75, that's going to give me 5.31. All right, and then, of course, we're going to divide by 2 because we have two values, and that's going to give us 2.655, which is not 2.5. So that means our answer is 8. The mean, the average GPA is 2.8. Remember, we ended up with 2.785, which rounds to 2.8 if we round to the nearest 10. So again, this is a scenario where you guys have to be able to interpret the data. You have to understand what the mean represents, what the range represents, what the mole represents, what the median represents, so that you can take data and you can draw conclusions based on what they give you.